Chuck and appreciate you uh, stopping by the shop. Um, I got my good buddy over there, Howard. But I uh, appreciate your time stopping by the shop. So the, this is the tale of two Chucks. I'm the third Chuck. And we'll hope Charlie doesn't join the show. <laughs> so I've got two adjustable Chucks here. This one is an Albrecht. And this one is from Italy, if I remember right. Made in Italy. One has the Morse Taper 2 on it. One has a 5 8 shank on it. I want the Morse Taper 2 on the Albrecht so that I can use it on my uh, 10 E rather than the, uh, the Italian version. I don't have the wedges for taking out the uh, arbors. So I went over to my buddy Carl's and he's got the number one, two, three, and six, and none of them worked on these shafts. So I came home with my two units still installed, and uh, said, "How am I gonna, how am I gonna get these off?" I did watch a video uh, where a fella drilled and tapped the end of this unit, and then between bolts and using the wedges. Uh, set up in his vise. It was somewhat ingenious. He managed to finally get it to pop. Well, like I said, I don't have the wedges. So I came up with an idea and uh, I got one of them out. So uh, let me take you on the journey of taking the second one out and how I came up with my idea on how to do this. So uh, we'll get the camera reset up here. Okay. Um, this is a... Uh, Typical unit you use on the uh, hydraulic press or an arbor press to uh, get uh, bearings and races off of shafts. So I've uh, gone ahead and used it to grab here on the uh, shaft on this guy. And uh, from here we'll go over and set it in the mill. You, you can see that I've got two spaces that I can push on. and. What I've done is I got a piece of pipe that fits over this. Right, Charlie? Come on now. Oh, I gotta ream this one. That's right. I haven't reamed this piece of pipe yet. It fits fits over this one, but on this guy it's tight. So I gotta uh, ream this and then I'll bring it back and we'll have you set up in the press. Okay, we're back from the lathe. And I opened up the, the bore on that, so this now fits on this uh, arbor, the uh, Morse Taper 2. So now we'll take you back over to the uh, press. Okay, we're over at the press. Got the bearing separator there. And then what I have is a couple of small pieces of key stock that will just sit down onto the back of the chuck. That fit in there reach around the camera oh, that didn't do it okay and then the sleeve goes over that and presses on those come on And bring the press down. And let's put some pressure on it. Those guys are kicked a little bit. Let me get a screwdriver. Okay, so all set to uh, give it a press. Got rags down below to catch it. And out she comes. Gotta go look for my little uh, 
pieces of key stock to retrieve them. Yeah, there's one of them. There's two of them. So that method uh, works for uh, pulling pulling the um, arbor out of the back of a drill chuck. As you can see, uh, take this up higher. And there's the uh, arbor still in the uh, bearing separator. Okay, so I thought I'd share that with you. It's a quickie video here. It's another method of madness on how to get something done when you don't have the proper tool, but you do have lots of tools. Thanks again for your time. I always appreciate uh, you stopping by my shop. Of course, comments and sharing the video are more than welcome. And uh, we'll see you again soon.